So Danielle Izzo is next on our list. Danielle, I know, is here. And I'll read a little bit uh, from the program. Danielle is a liberal arts major, um, manager, I'm sorry, manager, <laughs> at, at ASAP here at QCC. Growing up in the, quote, mean streets of suburbia. OK, so this will be a, maybe a nice contrast to yeah. what we just heard. Uh, Danielle Izzo knew she needed to write out the screams of complacency that surrounded her upbringing and become a poet. She earned her bachelor's degree with honors from St. John's University and completed Naropa University's summer writing program, focusing on the postmodern beat and feminist aesthetic. At the end of December 2009, Danielle will be awarded her master's in English literature from Queens College. She has been published in various literary journals and is working on her first book of poetry entitled Idle Banter. That's I-D-O-L. Yes. <laughs> okay, welcome Danielle. Staring under the lamplight, streetlight, lamppost lampoon, is that thing twisting. But now reality is tripping through gyres and ciphers, cyclones and unknowns. Staring inside the gutters, breathlessly, howling through the moon, awakens. Dead face, dead friend, dead men, dead children, into nothing. The nothing of some things and everythings and everywheres, where banter brews like reckless, rabid dogs in heat, like relentless rebel relics escaping themselves, stirring for some transcendental, existential containment of entertainment, away from the words, away from language, away, away. Um, I have a terrible, terrible cough, um, so if I stop to get a drink, or I'm going to have like probably a glass of juice stuck in my throat. Then. <laughs> so I'm going to try to work here with this. Um, the next three poems that I'm going to read for you, um, they all have to do, kind of do with this idea of, of creating a written piece of art, in a sense, when you're creating poetry. Um, first, it's that, that lust to find something that inspires you. Then there's the inspiration. And then lastly, the kind of the birth, the unveiling of it. So each poem kind of represents those three stages. Um, and they're all from my um, manuscript entitled Idol Manager. So this one's called Spark. Let me linger in the longing, the song that comprises the sizes of silos holding in the essence of our beings. Let me linger, tasting the tongues of eloquent soliloquists questing for meaning, tasting tapestries, transparent visions viscerally wrapped in this misery. And I burn for your lips to the strawberry smoke, sweet memories of fire, desire to capture this longing, this impatient, incessant longing. For you illuminate the breath of beauty, incomparable, your hair glistening under bar light, where creatures of the nocturne burn and lust for you. Let us dance, wild and negligent in our nexus, drown the dawning of selves, lusting and starving, mad stone, drunk in love, challenging the void of faceless fantasies to find us a poem. Uh, this, this next poem I wrote, so it's kind of the, the second half, um, dealing with what motivates you to write. And I was actually in the Boulder, Colorado, and I was at this uh, Tibetan Buddhist festival, and I was at studying in Europa. And it's really interesting. They had these festivals, and there were all these these different um, cultural events going on. But I couldn't help but notice the homeless people, the, the homeless couple who was like a couple rows in front of me. And even though there was so much happening, there were these these Japanese music and Rastafarian band going on. I was just stuck on these homeless people right in front of me who were having a great time, actually. So it's called Images Through Atmosphere. The day I heard the Japanese drums play, I was dreaming. I was dreaming about the bums, about what I once called love, what I once called love. I was dreaming the day I heard those drums, each tap tore tightly across me, bowed me to the ghosts and echoes of magnificent, the typical lovers performing. 
They asked me on stage and I dreamed of the city I thought was home. I dreamed that the bum, the cannabis bonnet, and the Indian bones as thin as drumsticks bum woman would dance and love at the edge under the stage. I dreamed of their smells, so foul as they carried the hippie free city and all its strung out, strung on pain and the ragged, tired pores of their skins. I dreamed of the Blackfoot war songs, the potty ghost dancers chanting, chanting in unison to the shrill of Tokyo. I dreamed of the Rastafarian, swinging his dreads in the cold rain, drinking cold beer in the hot sun with the Indian woman smoking a joint with a bonnet wearing bum. I dreamed that I wasn't a writer, that I wasn't filled with shame at every instance of suffering that I call the muse. It's my last one, the birth of the poem. I feel it coming on, the birth of the poem. The bebop, hip hop, flop top, one woman hot, shot, stop. I feel it moving up my lungs, the birth of the poem cooling and breezing. Alert tip top tune, tantric tingles like crazy demon fire, like weird jumping stars spinning, like leaking cantinas of the cantos like dripping bloody sweat seeping out of vulture sutures squirming. I feel it, the birth of the poem, a tic-tac totem tug teething teetering mess of deedle dee dee da doo wop. The birth of the poem, dirty and greasy, gritty and grisly. Feel it, feel it. Coming up crawling like tiny white spiders, Crawling like junkies, arms outstretched across busy, lonely streets against the backdrop of quick pacing, important leather feet denying their denials of need and lust and the insipid romance of the pavement and the loose change. Crawling like babies with heavy diapers, weighing them down, weighing them down, so connected to being weighed down, beaten down, content with down, gripping to what's down. I see it. That old birth of the poem, sliding up canals through the anals and channels of tight jaws, carnal caverns, crossing the wham, bam, double slam, scam, jam, and jabbing, jabbing through shocking sockets. The birth of the poem, <clears throat> charging through quiet midnights, erupting dawn among thick, unforgiving streams of smoke, sing of self. Hiding all the beauty and pain and shame and struggle and suffering and beauty around the pen of the poem that insists beauty, that insists beauty, that insists on every second of sour, bitter, bashful moments to be hailed beauty, to be forgotten beauty, to be remembered beauty. The whole birth of the poem, I feel it. In internal turns of burns, beating, tapping, trapping, tipping, turns, and collages of couplets and streaks of stanzas, shouting, You need me! Shouting, You need me! Feed me that birth of a poem. Groaning to groom and tailor and trim and rope and hope that dip, dab, dribble, drip slides through, talking about justice, telling about justice. Whispering about justice. That birth of the poem. The mangy, mangled muck. Warring like thieves, warring like angels, warring like the cosmos, warring like the ethos of danger daggers dragging through love and through love and through. The birth of the poem pointing reckless fidgety fingers like accusers, abusers, losers, losing everything they never had, losing the great battle between the me and the he and the she and the we, losing and losing, screaming, be born, poem, be born, poem, screaming, give me my poem. I'll tell you about that birth of the poem. It comes in stages, it comes when the struggle climax is so great you have to heave and moan to every stripping away, beating away, your thin, thick flesh meshing over your piped organs. It follows you when you're needy, 
when they're desperate. We are just belief to all the uproarious, outrageous madness and sadness that plagues each sour grin, forcing to be entered, forcing you to abide to the violent fury that insists beauty. The birth of the poem, it slips up and slides into you, infects you, injects you with the awareness that every birth is painful and ugly and violent, but that every birth still insists beauty. That birth of the poem, riddled with rage, riddled with thunder, with the procession of coming out, stepping out beyond shadows, deceiving disguise, posing progress, screaming, screaming, give me my poem. 